The National Restaurant Association's Restaurant Performance Index in October was 101.9, an increase of 0.8%. Restaurant operators reported improvements in same-store sales and traffic conditions, and their sales expectations and outlook for business conditions six months out also advanced. Regarding restaurant operator capital spending in October, 69% of restaurant operators reported making a capital expenditure over the past three months, and 71% of operators expect to make a capital expenditure over the upcoming six months. And both of those levels are up from the prior month's level. Regarding restaurant industry employment in October, the industry regained 6,000 jobs, but it is important to keep in mind that overall industry employment compared to pre-pandemic levels remains down a hefty 4.6% or a loss of 565,000 jobs. So the industry's employment recovery obviously remains far from complete. Regarding wholesale food price inflation in October, that index continued to move up. It is now running at a 14.7% rate year to date highest inflationary environment for wholesale food prices since 1974. Looking at different commodity groups, it's not surprising that some of them are posting substantial gains. For example, eggs, butter, potatoes, fresh vegetables, chicken, and coffee. Also in October, restaurant menu price inflation continued to edge up. It is now running at a 7.5% rate year to date through October. That is substantially below grocery store price inflation, which is running at an 11.3% rate, and overall inflation, which clocked in at 8.3%. So, in sum, the restaurant performance index in October 101.9, an increase of 0.8%. Restaurant industry employment up by 6,000. Wholesale food price inflation, 14.7% rate year to date, and menu price inflation at 7.5%. And don't forget, for additional information, visit our website, restaurant.org. Thank you.